Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the launch of the book Edison, Architect of People and Modern Layer by Ruth Edison Rollins, who is with us here today. This launch is organized by Eureka Books with the support of Para Heritage Society. Uh, thank you all for coming for this overwhelming uh, response. I'm very delighted to see you all. Uh, my own fan. I mean that's in a good way. And I must say, uh, this is launched through the biggest crowd. Would you say? Good? Yeah. So people can make it. People can do it. People go ahead. And they have two icons. One is a living treasure. Right. The other treasure is the publication of this book. It's Iverson. The book arose, uh, walk a bookshop organized by Wal Seth Hong. He was then the president of the Higher Heritage Society. Um, the process has started 60 years ago. Has come to fruition. I want to acknowledge Sama, Lewis, and I want to acknowledge the people who participated in the first Iverson bookshop in 2009, which includes Lucas, Nick Coffield, Irene Leon, Kate Bain, King, and uh, Hawaii King. It's a great book. We took the people for granted, haven't we? You know, and now we're finally realizing that. I'm sure whoever lives in Nipo will start to look at Nipo and look at Ah, this is Nipo. I would like to now introduce Ruth Vincent Rollin, who is the author of this book. It is because of her that we have this portrait of Vincent, because she has kept because she has made them available, has the, the very vivid memory of her father, which she has written down in this book. Because of her, we have this portrait of one of the major architects of Malaysia, who is, as John Lloyd says in his forward, perhaps the only architect to spend the pre-war, post-war, and post-war period in Malaysia. For me, to be the people. A girl who was born I want to thank you all for coming. I'm delighted to see so many. And many of you will be in the people's houses. And I hope you love them as much as I love you in the people's houses. And in the people's houses. People world. When I sit in England, I must rain and die. I go to my computer and I switch on the world. I'm happy to see students of architecture. I hope you can see this very old-fashioned architecture because that's not how they do it anymore. They don't use pen and paper anymore. They use computers. So it's not the same soul. But my architecture has been nothing to know because only architecture is limited. And we just hope that people will retain some of the new architecture that they have. 